Hello everybody, and welcome to the latest Worlds of ZZD livestream. It is once again Friday, and it is once again time to continue trying to find some more Code Red endings. I think this is going to be number 5 today? We've seen quite a number at this point. And I think we've kind of gotten into a bit of a rut, which is partially why last week we took a nice little break and found 33 unique ways to die instead. But today, it's back to this small child, his gun, and it's his love of killing every alien he meets. It's more Code Red. Let's listen to that title screen music one more time. It's been a while. It's been two whole weeks. It's music to get pumped up to. This is the theme of all children with a Super Nintendo. Alright, let's get right to it. For those who need a refresher, we are Kyle Lipschitz, the average 16-year-old guy. We hate alarm clocks, we hate aliens, we don't want to go to school, and we are hungry. But I don't think any breakfast awaits Kyle this time. Nope, but okay, let's get our clothes put on, grab our gun, our extra ammo. Uh, let's rob our little brother, just in case we need the money in this path. This seems like it's going to be a, a bit of a money path. I'm at the point now where I'm picking these in advance, because if I just kind of run around blindly, I'm not going to get very far with finding new stuff. We're going to go to the casino today, as all 16-year-olds dream. And for that, we're probably going to need some cash. Got a couple other things we should be doing around the home. You know, making making our best friend mad at us. You can't just play Super Nintendo. You have to pay attention to me. It's my Super Nintendo. He says that every time, and you know what? He's back every week. Get out of here, Jay. All right, Mom. Southern California is going to be turned into a toxic waste dump. That's entirely irrelevant, actually, in like 90% of these endings, I think. No food. We're not going to melt the fish into bones. I think we're able to just go forward. I'll be very annoyed if we end up needing fish bones in the casino, but what are the odds there'll just be a weird cat there? Let's get out of this house. And into this car. Are we supposed to be threatened by strange men? Or is it only when we put the... Yeah, okay. Sorry, we, have, we do have to actually mail the letter. Love this car so much. Okay. Well, 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 if it isn't Kyle Lipschitz. Meet Guy and Harry, my two favorite thugs. Me, I'm Alexis Jansen, the genius behind the great casino of gambling without gambling, where none of the games are recognized by anyone, so therefore no one can get arrested like for anything like gambling under the age of 18. This is the perfect casino for us, and that's why we're going. Getting paid a ton of money by the government to destroy any resistance to the Toxic Waste Act. Of course, you are obviously a resistor. I would devise an ingenious trap to bring about your death. She really was. Alright, so we got our Rube Goldberg device explained here. 
we're once again going to sabotage it. We're just going to sabotage this in a different way. Switch activates the fan, which billows the flag, which pushes the blue parachute. Pulls over the cup, which dumps the marble down the chute, hitting the gun just right, so it becomes a spinning gun. I love that lore, which will shoot a single bullet right, and will ricochet off of four panels, finally going through a hole in your cell wall, instantly killing you. No questions. I understand. Let's die in peace. There you are, Jay. I'm in hot water, all right. I feel like a lot of 16-year-olds would kill, would let their best friend die if they unplug the Super Nintendo on them. It's very true to life. Also, this is some faulty labeling, apparently. Alright. We gotta start messing with these controls ourselves. We gotta raise the flag and angle the fan. And that, I guess, sets off an alarm instead. I guess we tripped. There was like a little laser here. So actually, what's this in the other corner? I don't think this is actually a passage. No, it can't be. We've got all three accounted for with the blue, green, and purple. This passage seems to lead nowhere. Interesting. I think we're also actually still on a time limit. This this kind of sequence of events is actually pretty hard coded. Let's get out of here and get our password. We're going to the casino today. The password master. O E B. On disc monthly. Part two. All right, good start. We're already done with the first file. And free to enter our password. Casino after Rude Trap. Okay, so I'm only just now noticing, even though this is like the fifth time we've been on one of these screens, there's a time limit. I'm curious if there's something actually attached to this if you take too long to enter your password. So we're going to die on the password entry screen, which is kind of a unique way to die. It's one more way to die, I suppose. Uh, let's speed this up a little bit. Let's go. This is too much time. Okay, so we don't actually have a time limit, which kind of makes a little more sense. I want my 10 health. I wonder why that's even there, though, because this is going to take a long, long time to, to die. All right, we've got some cash. We've got some ammo. We do not have fish bones. Here we are, the falling ball. We, everybody should be taking notes and preparing their own Twitch channels based on these. I think this might be a good way to make some money. From children, of course. Brian. Make a bet, win a prize. Hello, sir, I'm Brian Schweitzer, the controller of this here game. No cheating allowed, by the way. Not that it's very possible to cheat. Would you like to play? Only one gem. Yes. Okay, move the slider to select which slot you think the ball will fall in, then talk to me again. So, so can we actually blame Code Red for all the little ZZT casino games as well? Does this actually predate all of those? Do I do this? How do I do this? Here we go. Oh, nice. Wow. 
I love gambling. I've stolen my brother's money and turned it into a tidy little profit. Doors? Where is this? Oh, outside. Is that just a truck with a bunch of hay? Also, this is the, the cameo route, apparently. They're all here. Jamie Haloub. All the ZZ tiers in the early 90s fantasized about owning and running their own casino. I'm Jamie Haloub. Call me The Shadow. How would you like a juicy tip? Well, you know, I'm feeling generous. I have, I've got plenty of money. I'm flush with cash. Have three gems. There's a secret transport to the alien space station above the casino. What, aliens? You didn't know? No. Shh. Aliens have invaded the U.S. and are planning total conquest. I've said too much. Go. This probably hits harder if this is your first ending and not, like, your fifth. That was not worth three bucks. Get back here. I want my money back. Hey! Go. Oh, I beat him. That's right. Can I take my money back? Yeah! Is this the first ZZT game in which you kill a ZZT here? Alright, that's nowhere near all my money, but... Right, any other casino games? We gotta... We're kind of running at a loss now, thanks to this guy. Here we go. The Room of Boxes. Like... She really did just predict so much. Spend three gems, open two boxes, and win a gem. Three gems, or other prizes per box. Okay, sir, go pick two boxes. All right. What are we going to open up with our, our ZZT loot boxes? Circa 1993. One gem. And the top one. Ah. What other prizes are there, though? I'm worried that, like, you have to win this and there's, like, going to be a key or something absurd. I'm beginning to have my doubts about the legitimacy of these games. Yeah, okay, I'm broke now. I shouldn't have done it. Let that be a lesson to everyone. Oh, a lever. Oh, that's right. I'm going to shut this casino down. I guess. Honestly... Kind of a lackluster casino. I like this one. This one's kind of unique, at least. Everyone loves a good Plinko. I get the key to the back of the truck. Oh, okay. I can't actually go right here. I... No. And, yeah. You can, you can trust Jansen to not let you just shoot the breakables. We also, I think we're getting some, like, early SDK on this board, too. Some of these colors are a little unique. Wait, what else do I do here? Uh-oh. I'm beginning to worry, actually, that the answer is you get a green key from one of the boxes. Let's see. Oh, okay. I'm looking at Jansen's own guide for this. Oh, does that work? Hang on, if I can just keep shooting this guy for money. I've got plenty of ammo. No, that might be the case in an older version or a different version. I'm running off the, the registered Software Visions Collection one, which seems like it has some bugs that are fixed in other versions, so it's hard to say if any given bug will or will not be present. 
apparently there's supposed to be like a secret here. I don't care for this. Maybe, maybe Jamie should have told me about like there's a secret passage in the casino rather than telling me about how aliens have invaded the United States. It's also just the United States in this one. They, it's very clear that they took the entire world over. All the other endings. This isn't great. I really don't like the fact that I'm... Oh, I guess their board exit is up. So now I just have to... Alright, I'm at the E and Gamble. I'm going to be really annoyed if it's the end. Mm. That's end enough. Ah, yeah, there we go. Teleporter. Yep. It's just, it's always like this. Alright, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna try running this backwards in my head here. Obviously, there's the exit. So I'm gonna have to go from the up one, which means I'm gonna have to push that slider. So I'll have to be in the one below it, which means I'll have to be in the one. That doesn't add up either. Um, let's just go for it and see what happens. Oh, wait. Okay, we're good here. Yeah, okay. I was, once again, vastly overthinking things. That might have been the easiest puzzle I've had to do in this game yet. And just immediately, just... Oh! Hold up. A twist. The thug hits you very hard with a club and knocks you out. When you recover, you discover... That's a fun rhyme. You're in... Oh, God. Zuts. Um, well, that's bad. What? Okay, I can't shoot. Oh, it helps if I actually go through this. Okay. Interrogation. They're not even letting me answer. What do you know about the aliens? Who told you what you know? Why are you even here? Do you even care? Guys, we've got to go get the lie detector. Better hurry back, though. Are we on a timer for this puzzle? Well, that part's easy enough. Is there a way? Okay, yeah, I have to get the sliders to slide in. I think it might just go. No, I didn't think this through at all. I mean, maybe theirs actually work. Okay. Curious about all this. Is this gonna push me through? This will work. I liked that music while it was going. Okay, so this one. Oh, I guess just the same thing. The music is looping too. Yeah. Just a, a banger tune. Also already really worried this is gonna be really short. Please. 
right? Yeah, okay, you can you can tell that the secrets of SDK are slowly slowly revealing themselves. We've got blinking sliders. This ain't your granddad's ZZT. Our arrows blink. You've teleported to a space station. What do you know? Weird stuff. We got the star field effect in like a very poor way. I think we've seen it better in other worlds. This is just like two columns and a randomly flickering dot. Gary. That's fine. I'm sure I don't need to go back to Earth. There we go. Now the, now the effect's looking a little better. You enter the room and instantly die from severe radiation leaking through the wall at the end. Radmaster. Okay. Then, so it goes. Okay, yeah, I couldn't quite tell. I thought the animation seemed incorrect. Okay, so obviously this room is radioactive, which was properly foreshadowed to us by there being a door? It leaves a bit to be desired. I'm loving this purple space station, though. Oh, and blue. Okay. Purple, blue, and white. Good colors. As you enter the room, you see the reactors glowing. They seem to be giving off immense amounts of radiation. That makes much more sense than the other room. Are we getting... No, okay, this is a robot for us. I thought it was going to be some power armor. This is the robot controls. Don't move them too quickly or smash them against a wall or worm because they'll break into pieces. The O fires. Each shot costs you one ammo. Take 80 ammo. Sassy looking robot. Yeah. Yes, well, it didn't break, I just apparently didn't hit my own mute button, and while I talked for a minute straight, I was complaining about how all of these endings just, all these paths just feel so similar, and they're all short, which, like, when you're making so many, like, this whole thing is a solidly sized game, but the individual replay value isn't the individual paths. You have to rely on the replay value. Get out of here, snake. This is why we shouldn't play centipede in space. Okay, so... Now what?
Is there no longer radiators? Th I guess. Reactors are made to be blown up. Uh, this room killed... Okay, yes. Yeah. The, the face-melting radiation is gone. That's how radiation works. It just kind of goes away in like an instant. Okay. We're not dead this time. Can I go in the centipede room? No. I like that there's a board connection for it. That's cute. Okay. A friendly alien or alien we murder. We seem to have been expected. We heard that you escaped and, and come... We are sorry. Now we need your help. All but I have hidden other parts of this space station because there is about 10 minutes before a bomb blows up the entire ship. Please save us. Well, as your average 16 year old, I've got plenty of experience with bomb defusal. I'm sure I can pull this off. Now, hold on. What happened to my two minutes? I can't believe there's fighting lions in space. Don't dill the dally. And watch out for the bomb planters. Don't worry, this will become a scroll for certain. Why is it look why is why this? This is this is definitely an invisible maze in here. Yeah. But look, it's dark purple. For all my complaints about mazes, though, having a timer means there's more to this than just literally wasting my time. So I do respect that. There, it's still not great. But it actually is an obstacle, like, and not just a time sink, in this case. And given how many invisible mazes I have gone into in ZZT, I will praise this one to high heaven. I'm doing a... I've got my, my back door. My exit here. Doing a bad job of finding all the keys. Looks like I actually do have to get them all in order. Blue gets green. Shine 420. I, I missed the screenshot. Curses. Wonder if I'm gonna have enough time now. And okay, up here. Maybe this part will be fast. Maybe not. Not sure I gotta go. Oh no, not all the way around either. Jansen's getting me good here. Oh, now for the test of eyesight. Well, I guess I have to be getting purple next. So it must be this one. Yeah, I definitely don't have the time. I haven't even, like, begun to process what's going on in that other room over there. I doubt it, but what do I need to do here? I guess I just gotta reach the end. And this will zap me, right? No. What? What is... Oh, okay. I actually do have to...
Oh, maybe maybe I'll be okay. That's what that say. I couldn't read the message because the timer kept going. Oh, it looks very tricky. Do I bomb? Oh, I didn't want to do that. No, we're doomed. This shouldn't be the correct answer. Oh, maybe it is. That was intense. I I have no idea if that did what I needed to do. I'm gonna stop this horrible blinking. I really don't like this. I don't care for that. It's so much worse when the blink balls have a background color. It's set like a flag or anything either. This is the bomb. It looks very tricky. I can't shoot it. I mean, yeah, I'll bomb it again. Yay, you did it. Okay. And the only thing that can defeat a bomb? Two bombs. But I guess one is enough to blow up the timer. So why couldn't the aliens have handled this? Maybe they didn't have a gun and they were afraid of the lions? Could we have gone through the yellow thing? Oh. Probably. Okay, no, we couldn't have. No, I... Dignity saved. What about, like, these transporters? Oh, I guess if you go on the lower routes, you can... Get a little extra ammo. I'm worried this is already the end. This has been, like, a half an hour. You've succeeded. You will be our guest of honor. Please exit north. Because I have yet to actually route out, like, another path. I... The, 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 playing Code Red has just been destroying the illusion of that Code Red is a game to be put on a pedestal. It's fine. It's good. It's cool. This board looks like every ZZT game from 1993. This is... Nothing new. It's not bad, it's just... I don't... <sighs> the lessons the ZZT community took from this are very strange. See all those aliens? You've just saved all of their lives. Maybe someday the aliens can make peace with the USA, and the rest of the world too. But for now, you may return home through the transport to your right. Whoa, hold up. It really is that this is a different set of aliens who are only invading the United States. And now, by defusing the bomb that was on their own ship, did we just, like, undo the ending to Independence Day? Before Independence Day was even a thing? Actually, when did it? No, it's got to be well after 93. I know I was young when Independence Independence Day came out, but I wasn't that young. 1996, okay. I was really hoping that this game was just Jansen seeing like previews for Independence Day and be like, yeah, I think I got I think I know how this is gonna play out. Oh, our TV. Ten years later. Yeah, wow, this is the most optimistic ending yet. Especially if we end up making peace with the aliens. Today? Per wait. In this timeline, it's the year 2003? I'm assuming this takes place in what was then present day. But ten years later, 
I guess maybe this is Hillary. I don't know. <laughs> Either this is Hillary or something very, very interesting happened over this past decade in this timeline. But President Clinton here has signed an eternal treaty with the aliens of peace and technology. The president of the aliens, Guy Folk Oom, that's good. That's what people should have taken from this game. Was quoted as saying, We've always wanted this, but we were afraid people would try to kill us. Now we're very happy to come out into the open. Later tonight on Channel 7 News, the story of how the original plans of the alien takeover leaked out, and how a teenager named Carl. You spelled my name wrong. In, in like the most. When the kids in school hear about this, well, I guess we're in our 20s. When the guys at work hear about this, they're never going to stop calling you Kyle Lip... Sorry, Carl Liptitz. Well, you know, can't trust everything you see on TV, I guess. All right, a teenager named Carl Liptitz rebelled against it unsuccessfully. You mean... Yeah, okay. The news always gets the facts wrong, doesn't it? Damn the news. Oh, man. I, I love Alexis Jansen's, like, 16-year-old political takes. I have no idea how old she was when she made this. 16 sounds right. Is that it? Stan, oh, I like a cutscene that nags you. I can't... I absolutely cannot believe I haven't seen another game do this. Like, the sheer number of cinemas in late 90s, 2000s, ZZT games. Why is this not a thing constantly? Why am I not constantly being harassed every time I try to move during a cutscene? Yeah, that's, uh, that's it, huh? That was a short one, though. Dang. Um... That was a little, like, too short for me. We got our fireworks and all, but... Quick, what can I, what can I play that'll take this long? Where's Bill Clinton? See, not in this ending. That's what I'm holding out for. I'm saving this one for last. We'll, we'll get to the ending that actually features Bill Clinton in the end. of music. Jansen knew how to compose, that's for sure. 40 minutes, though. I'd really like to... Well, you know what? I've done little magazines and stuff. Let's grab just a random ZZT magazine. Let's see if I can find something early enough that I might, like, talk about Code Red. We'll make this fitting. What's a good uh, magazine here? Let's see. Okay, well, the earliest magazine that has a date is dated 1995, and for some reason the zip file says it has almost 300 boards. Oh. 
that's extremely funny. Hold up, yes, we're definitely going through this. Okay, we're gonna we'll we'll do a little magazine reading. I will say, of course, I have not vetted this world whatsoever. Apologies if it's got anything not so great in it, but generally speaking, this stuff isn't too bad. But apparently this magazine just straight up bundled Code Red with it. Which is extremely funny to me. As well as uh, Escape from Castle Zazumda, and one other world that I don't recognize by file name at least, but it might be Final Fantasy related. Let's see what we got. I don't got time to update our little side card thing, but this is Ultra ZZT Magazine. Not to be confused with Ultra ZZT. Is this Final Fantasy? I'm even more curious now. Let's go to the magazine first. Look, we've, we've already got the fireworks that we were just looking at. Ultra ZZT Magazine. An unbiased look at... Oh, I should not press F12 on Firefox. An unbiased look at available ZZT games available through AOL, WayOL, and other sources. This is the rating system constructed by the critics that will be rating the games from their point of view. Five stars, great. Four stars, excellent. Three stars, good. Two stars, okay. One star, not recommended. It's unbiased. Categories, graphics, sound, programming, and overall. This is day 95. We've got plenty of other ZZT magazines that might predate this. But none of them have concrete, if even remotely concrete dates. So I'm just going with this. And the fact that, again, it's bundled with Code Red means it's probably going to talk about Code Red. Let's, let's learn about the overall games. Wow, this is... Much more elaborate than I thought. Oh no, player will be here any minute. Table of contents. Who's we got? Games included, contest, magazine credits, commemoration of the month, explanation of how the reviews were done, how to get your game reviewed, secrets, codes, and hints, and the reviews themselves. I guess we should start down here then. Games included. Code Red, the series. Zazumda, and Final Fantasy 2. Okay, now I know what that one is. The demo. I'm actually curious if we have that demo released standalone. It would be very funny to me if this is the only reason that file would exist. Credits. <laughs> Credits. 1. ZZT. 2. Robo Bagel. 3. ZZT Authors. 4. Authors of ZZT Games Included. Contest. First person to think of an idea for the battle scenes for Final Fantasy 2, is this the same author? Best ZZT game poll. Send votes to robo at aol.com. Subject, vote. First winner of either contest wins $20. That's a lot of money in 1995 for a kid. Oh, I'm curious. It's credited to robo, B-A-G-L-E, but... It wouldn't be the first time an author spelled their own name wrong. Legal Jumbo. Well, that's good. I'm glad this is all up to code. I'm sure nothing came of this like most other things like this. It turns out you can't just ask people to do work for you for the hell of it, especially with just like a random ZZT file. You won't get a lot of... Even if you say you'll give them $20, was, was he going to mail them a check? That's funny. I got a runtime error. I think this is a super locked world. Yes, you locked your magazine and I can't read the legal jumbo. Now they're really going to get in trouble by the, the government's going to be coming for Robo Bagel. If you are not a winner, a winner author of Final Fantasy 2 may still use your attack scene, but you will get your name inserted in many places throughout the game, needless to say, the title screen. Okay, so this is another victim of Superlock. Assuming that's where we were. Yeah, okay. Well, that's funny. I mean, just... 
Get old ZZT up and running again. I'm really curious, actually, now what that demo looks like. Player will be here any minute. All right. The good news is we're probably not going to crash anymore. Why is this cut off? Oh, I, I dragged the window slightly off my screen. Okay, commemoration of the month. Yeah, that tracks. This month, it's S Tool K. This has like Homestar Runner energy to me for some reason. I guess it's just the lettering and the fact that nobody has ever said S Tool K before. That's it. Okay, well, hopefully, there's a, a more deep review in the reviews category. How do games get their reviews? Reviews of games are the opinion of staff here at the office. If we hate a game, you might still like it. That is your opinion. Thank you for your support. This... This is a great magazine, is what this is. How to get your game on these reviews. I'm assuming we just send an email, possibly with the game attached, before or after. But it is preferred before, so you can get help to make your game better. Dang, Robo Bagel. Okay. Okay, send your games to robobagel at AOL.com. Happy ZZTing, everybody. Okay, so I think the author question has now shifted to, yes, it's Robo B-A-G-L-E bagel. But is that a typo? Did they spell it wrong when they were coming up with the name for AOL? That's what I would love to find out. All right, secrets, codes, and hints. I'm assuming this is just going to be how to use Zap and stuff. Yeah. I guess this is just really how this kind of stuff proliferated. Hold shift and press question mark. Type ammo, health, zap, keys, torches, time. For an ultra code that will not be released here, email robobagel at aol.com. Ultra code, 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 ultra code. Kids got the branding. I'll give them that. Okay, this one's also kind of short, but you know what? I think we'll just call it after this. And the reviews. The whole... I don't know, blame, Sleen blame Sweeney for that. I guess that's... Yeah, sides isn't quite the right word. No, it just literally erases the, the tiles adjacent to the player. In four directions. Yeah. Okay. The reviews, I can't wait to see these opinions. Seven, okay. No SDK, though. Games included in Ultra ZZT's game review are... Zazunda. Stop Thief. Island of the Jerks 3. Link's Adventure 1, 2, 3. Oh, those were all out by then? Doomsday. Meaningless 1 and 2. And G Fighter 2. Of these... Stop Thief doesn't sound familiar, but okay, yeah, we have it. So I don't think there's going to be any, like, shocking reveals here in, in terms of games existing. All right, Zazumda, Type Adventure. Now, I don't think it mentioned Challenge as being one of the ratings on the title screen, so this is already off to a really bad start. Challenge 4, Graphics 5, Programming 5, Sound 3, Overall 4. This game is a great game. All of our reviewers recommend that people should download it. This is nothing. Also, no code red either. Stop Thief. Type Shoot 'em Up. Challenge 2, Graphics 1, Programming 1, Sound 1, Overall 1. 
Only one of our reviewers recommend that you download it. There is practically no programming at all. It is a hardcore shoot 'em up. If you like them, then download this game. Yeah, I don't know who these other reviewers are, but they seem to have differing opinions. Island of Jerks. Adventure 44454. Great game. All of our reviewers except one recommend that you download this because it's funny and has great programming. But S Tool K was hardly used, which makes this game boring with its colors. Actually, is is the file name for Super Toolkit S Tool K? Maybe that's why. Link's Adventure? Okay, like these are a classic. Challenge 4. Graphics 4. Programming 5. Sound 3. Overall 4. Overall, out, oh yeah, all three of those. Okay, it is S Tool K. This game combines a shoot 'em up game with an adventure game. Every single reviewer loved it. That's right. This game has something for everyone. Download them. Agreed. Correct. Good opinions. I love that they didn't want to retype their text, so they just let the three burst through the wall like the Kool Aid Man here. Doomsday? I'm guessing this is that Doomsday Arena we played like a few months back. Shunum Adventure. Low challenge? Two stars, everything else. This game is okay. It is very short and the programming isn't that great, but it is an okay combination between shoot 'em up games and an adventure game. I do like it funny. Meaningless 1 and 2? More shoot 'em adventures. All games are just shoot 'em adventures, I swear. Ooh, they didn't like this one, though. This game is not okay. It is a short game that isn't even good. As in the title, this game is meaningless to download. Get em. And G Fighter 2. Shoot 'em up, sorta. 2 for challenge, 5 for graphics, 3 for programming, 2 sound, 4 overall. This game is an R-type, Gradius, a type of game. It is great. Even adventure lovers could love it. It would have done better in the programming department, but there are a lot of bugs. I guess that's it. Should I have 9 out of 10 here? 7 out of 10? No? Okay. Yeah, G Fighter ain't... Comparing any ZZT space shooter to, like, R-Type and stuff doesn't seem super great. So what boards did we not see? Oh. Well, here's, here's STK. Here's S-Tool-K. Oh, I've had my fun. Well, so much for learning about the reception to Code Red in a random magazine. We, we know they liked S Tool K. That's something, at least. That's, that's a huge part of Jansen's legacy. That one's a bit easier to, to sing praise on today. But what is this demo? Is, do we have this standalone? I'm going to look up FF Series. Nothing comes up, so this is probably only included here. Ooh. Such just dark colors. How long is this one? Good god. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to figure out what this duplicator is doing. To leave, you must have a pass, but you may enter now, says Azim. And we speedrun Final Fantasy. Castle Baron. Is that four? Also super lost. So we're not going to get any hints there. That's a big bed. Or Marlboro cigarettes, one or the other. Can I interact with it? Yeah, I can go to sleep. In a bed. The, the size of my apartment. This I like. This is great. Can't go downstairs. We got tree. Gems, ammo, H. Oh. Trading gems for two life each. 
want to surprise me with this. I mean, I guess for 1995, it being Final Fantasy IV makes a lot of sense. I don't have gems. We'll see. Maybe we can, like, talk to the king or something and be Cecil proper. Case type. A pouch of ammo. Well, oh, I love the theme. An ultra bag of ammo. A mystery bag of ammo. I really wish I had some points. This is just a demo. Alright, mystery bag. What do you got? 200 ammo. You cannot comprehend the container this, came, this comes in. What about the H? Hints? Everything else here costs money. What is money? Money is your score. You can get money by killing enemies, getting gems, opening treasure chests, figuring out puzzles that involve other people or enemies. You can also be given money for doing good deeds. Take note. Gems are a source of health. Not only can you get gems and they give health, but you can trade them in at the gem shop and get two health for each. Ammo is what you use to shoot people. Yeah. You can run out of it. You can buy some above. Shoot by pressing shift in a direction. I'm glad this information is free. What is health? Health is your energy. You get it from rations and gems. And how do you register this fine shareware? $2.50 to somebody in New York. You receive five free games in a ZZT lock program, which locks other programmers from changing your game. You can't just sell people that. That's that's not yours. You didn't make that. Me and Sid used to be partners. I can teach you the airship controls. Move land. Move the ship. Oh, hey, Sizzy. Thank you for the raid. We were playing Code Red, but it ended up being really short. So then we started looking for a ZZT magazine that might talk about Code Red. And that was also really short. But it did come with the author's demo for a Final Fantasy game. Which is why we're talking about Sid and airships here. This seems to be Final Fantasy 4-ish. Which, being from 95, makes a lot of sense. I found a switch. Door opened. These must be treasure chests. 10 gold pieces. 50 rations. No more treasure. That's true, this this guy did play Link's Adventure. Ten gold pieces. Transporter. Okay, yeah, we're just lifting stuff from Super Toolkit here. Are we gonna shoot that tiger? What's going on here? Watch my dart hit one of the tigers. Do you want to see it go? Says the inventor of darts. The darts inventor. Okay. I don't want to see an animal be hurt. But also, I want to see an animation. Maybe it's a trick. My god. Okay, I'm sorry. We made that tiger explode into colors. And one day we'll have darts that move up and down. But not yet. Step in and press on the bottom. Each part will withstand two hits. From what? Terrible armor. I have invented the Ultra Transporter. Walk into the solid wall to try it. Okay. Oh, you got me. I thought I was going to come out of this one up here. Hi, I glow. You sure do, buddy. I am working on a formula to make things glow. Next, I will make things black so they cannot be seen. Hi. Hi, Sid. How's the airship? Great. I have not finished Z New One yet, though. This must be the airship. Oh, I like the little thrusters and propellers. That's cute. Do 
You are no longer welcome aboard this ship. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm definitely Cecil. Put on the do not fly list. Okay, I was also curious why Sid got French for a moment. I haven't played a ton of four. So I was willing to th say, like, maybe I forgot. Or never even saw Sid. You must be the king. Is that your treasure chest? No. The king's wife died three weeks from today. The king's wife died in the future. Yep, blood was found in both the queen's clothes and the king's clothes. Hello, my liege. Give me the crystal of water. Okay, you may go now. Bye now. Like this, this abridged version of Final Fantasy. Oh, hold up. King, we, the Airwings, do not understand why we loot other cities. I have sensed this for a long time within you. You are dismissed from your post as leader of the Air Wings. Isn't it? Is that what it's called? What? Take this package to Changling. Then you can get your old job back. Okay, yeah, I thought it was Red Wings. Well, you know, this is an original story. Uh, oh, I should be allowed to leave now. Uh, except the... Or is this supposed to be like a drawbridge kind of door thing? Bye. Oh. He killed me. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, there is nothing to the south, though. There's... A lot more in this file. Yeah. Uh, we got some flags. I, I've slept and I've talked to the king. Oh. I, I feel like I just missed some dialogue. Leave the castle and go east. I can't leave the castle because it kills me and also there's no exit. I'm banned from my airship. Oh, I'm a bit stumped. I might just start zipping around through boards, since this is just some, like, weird demo of a not-stellarly-made game. Am I supposed to... I already slept, is the thing. In, like, the world's largest bed. I forget if that was before or after the raid. I can buy stuff. I've got some money now. Why does he kill me? I I guess that's the end of the demo? Feels like there's nothing else here. We can see our board exits. And our passages, and that's everything. Oh wait. Downstairs no, can't go downstairs. There's airship controls, but I can't. Can't airship. I'm just gonna change boards and see what I find. There's definitely more to this, clearly. This is probably a toolkit. No. This looks like outside? Maybe? Letting you know, score is money, gems are not. Okay, so that was an entrance to the castle. I was probably supposed to start there, and that was supposed to be us returning from beating up some white mages or whatever it is we do. Okay, so going forward would be... Okay. Well, how many SDK boards are we getting? Fake walls, those are good. Normal walls, I love a normal wall. And a bomb. Curious. Thanks for stopping in, I, I have a fun... I have a funny feeling you've probably seen everything there is to see. It's very weird, though, for all these SDK boards to be at the end of a file and not the beginning. Because that usually implies the author went back and added SDK in. I gotta stop typing passage. I have this for a reason. 
water, solid walls, keys and doors. Is it? Oh, actually, you know what? This might literally be built on top of STK. We've seen a couple of games that did that. That's the easiest way to get STK in your game. I think if we go into the editor, we can confirm that pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. Here's our, here's all the cool stuff that those people claim to have invented. Oh, okay. This looks like an introduction sequence. Terror frog. Oh man, I just spoiled something great, didn't I? Okay, Captain, you're close to Mesidia. Why do we have to steal from them? What did they do to us? You're above Mesidia. Make a landing as soon as we are 60 paces away. That's very close. Yes, sir. Go through here to see what happens next. Okay, so we do have the full intro. Crew attack. Hand over the crystal of water. Never. They leave us no other way. Attack. No, the crystal. Save the crystal. My, my. Come get the crystal before others get hurt. You should have said so before. Done it. Why must we attack others with no defenses? Being a red wing... Well, it's red wings here. Is an honor. Looting is out of the question. Yes, why? Why must we loot other kingdoms? Stop it! We are Red Wings, and we must do as our king wishes. Furthermore, the king thought the Messinians knew too much about the crystal and its powers. I like this flying animation. That's cute. Ah, okay. This is what the terror... Like I said, I didn't play a lot of Final Fantasy IV, but I did play the intro. I don't remember the terror frog... Lit bolt. Ooh. Dang. We made short work of that terror frog. And we got food. Okay, so now I think we probably see everything. Right, right, terror frog, blank board, bed, yeah, yeah. All right, that was an unexpected diversion from Code Red, but you know what, I'll take it. I had fun. So folks, that is going to do it for today. I, I hope you enjoyed our, our journey through the Code Red Casino, and so far the game's only, like, upbeat ending, which is shocking. I guess it's just... I guess that's what happens when Bill Clinton gets a third turn. I guess. That just must be how it goes. That is gonna do it for today. Uh, we will be back. Oh yeah, thanks again to Ellipses for handing out all those gift subs, and thanks to Zizzy for the raid. Uh, we will be back again... Technically Sunday. But if y'all picked up a fun one to hop in on. Uh, on Sunday at noon Pacific, I'm going to be guest starring with Anna here on, let me paste the link. We'll be doing a guest stream with Zinfandel here, not here, actually, very specifically not here, on, Zinf on Zinfandel's, goodness, I stopped being able to talk there, Sunday stream on Zinfandel ZT's channel. The three of us are going to be combing through a shareware CD, Game Empire, that I am the only one of the three who did not have as a child, but I love a good shareware CD. So that's going to be something that'll be a lot of fun to look forward to. Uh, we will also be back again next Friday. Oh wait. No, I lied. I'm actually not going to be streaming next Friday. I've got, I've got things to do that evening. So Friday will be a no-go. But next Sunday, after that one, I think we're probably doing more shareware stuff. Boy, this is a difficult one to explain, huh? 
Right. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope you all had fun. Yeah, we're probably going to be going for two. If not, there'll be some unpreserved ZZT worlds. The, the trick is to just follow these channels and then let Twitch yell at you. That's my technique. Alright, yes. Please watch on Sunday. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you all for sticking around today. And hope to see you next time. Later.